whole set list dilemma. It, it doesn't get easier. It, it never gets easier. The more songs you have, the more songs you want to play and the more songs you might be expected to play. Um, I think that we try to balance a little bit of history with the present and also the dynamics throughout the set. It's a challenge. It's a real challenge. And we all have, depending on the day, different favorite songs to play that we think should be in there. But for practical reasons, a lot of times we, we try to stick to one set list. It might change a little bit in the beginning of the tour, but um, towards like the mid tour and the end of the tour, we, we have probably pretty much the same set. The set list is always very hard to choose. It's different. Sometimes somebody just comes up with a list that, that's pretty much a little bit of everything. There's like 50 songs and then we choose together. Uh, it's really hard. There's, there's uh, five members and uh, everybody wants their say. So I think the easiest part is when somebody just goes in, here you go, and then we do some changes. We add some or we take some away. We try to play some songs uh, and it might not work or it works very well. Um, but it's, it's a constant argument, basically. A good one, you know, it's a luxury problem to have so many songs to choose from. How do we pick a set list? Uh, well, we try to... I mean, we play songs that we like. I mean, we like most of the songs, but sometimes it feels amazing to play a new song, and some nights an old song feels even better. But we try to, uh, you know, so we have a good flow, a good dynamic from from the first song to the last song, we play some, uh, you know, for the older crowd. I don't know even I mean, anymore. I don't know an older crowd or new crowd or whatever. We just try to create a good show and, and show, you know, parts and pieces from our whole career. We can't play everything and I don't think we will play everything <laughs> every night, but I think I played most of the songs from all of our albums by now. What shows a pessimist? I got to. I mean, the song is seven minutes long. I mean, seven minutes is a long time, and you can enjoy it in Scandinavia, sold out. And I'm my white Falcon on, and everything sounded good. The band. What can I say? That song shows a pessimist. So many songs I like to play, but when you play them, 5,000 times, it might not be as uh, thrilling to, at, at least to rehearse it. But when you go on stage and uh, the songs that I li enjoy playing the, the most are the ones that get the best response from the audience. Um, songs like uh, Cloud Connected, for instance, that we played so many times and it's a very, very basic uh, rhythmic song, but the response from the audience on it is, al is almost always extremely cool. And uh, I love playing that song. Just seeing people jumping up and down and just going nuts to our music. Favorite songs, favorite songs. It's uh, that, that's really depending on the day or the day before, rather. I mean, the, the night before might have been kick-ass to play uh, Cloud Connected or, or you know something like that, and then you have a good vibe with that song and you really want to play it. But it's it's really they're all are babies, so you can't really pick and choose. They're all favorites, in a way. Well, it's like this the feeling that when I ask the crowd where we are and everybody screams we're in Gothenburg, like that, it's just like, gives me goosebumps. You know, like, that's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> or really, not pretty cool, it's really cool. And, uh, we play eyes wide open and, and you saw like lighters everywhere. Uh, that is also something that's like, wow, you know. Gee, I'm amazed I can remember to sing and remember the lyrics because I just want to look out at the crowd and be like, it's, that's, that's awesome. The world explodes uh, from the last record uh, with Emilia Felt uh, guesting on vocals or taking over the entire show. She has this amazing voice. When, when we first rehearsed with her, and also on Scandinavia, on every show I guess we, we did with her, I just got goosebumps and you know, eyes swelling up with tears almost, because it was so strong and so beautiful. Um, that was definitely my favorite song to play. And also I could see that a lot of people were 
really looking and taking it in rather than just uh, you know, headbanging and moshing around, they were just w watching and listening, which also m makes it very magical to see. And all the lights in the air and all that stuff, that's always so cool. It's really hard to pick um, one moment that stood out from this night. It was such an intense experience and it was, yeah, I can't pick one song. It was the whole night that made it. <laughs>